This is a bit of a podcast, but it's not exactly a real podcast because, you know, I think normal podcasts aren't, uh, no one likes them because they're too long. So I'm going to start doing podcasts, but I'm going to do short podcasts for multiple reasons. One being, I don't have time to do a fucking three hour podcast. And for two being, I don't think you have time to listen to a three hour podcast. I don't want to have shitty ass retarded viewers that have uh, three hours on their hands. Um... So yeah, for my first podcast, I'm going to be talking about a very uh, uncontroversial standard subject to try to get mainstream appeal, uh, the Middle East. Um, today, today is the 28th of uh, the first month of 2024, uh, some American troops were just killed in Jordan, uh, I don't know if you've seen that, uh, probably, probably it's going to become a big deal so far, it's just um, Fox News headlines. Um, uh, but yeah, we got dudes in Jordan, if you didn't know, the American army and our dudes in Jordan were training people in there. That's why we got dudes there. Uh, we're training all sorts of groups. We're training the Jordanian army. We're training, uh, we used to be training groups like ISIS and Al Qaeda there. Not anymore. Now we're training people like the people's Mujahideen organization. You should look them up. Um, they, uh, you might've seen that, uh, that attack in Iran a couple weeks ago that killed a, here, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to pull some things up here, uh, 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 killed a bunch of people, uh, this is the MEK, supposedly, the People's Mujahideen Organization, uh, so that's, that's what they did <clears throat> a couple weeks ago, and that's why we got troops in, uh, in Jordan, we're training these guys, We've been training him since the 80s, the CIA and Mossad. Uh, so yeah, I'm kind of going back in time here, but the, uh, the, uh, the American army, three dead in Jordan, um, they were struck, struck today, uh, they're in Jordan training the MEK dudes, uh, they were struck by an Iran-backed group, basically Iran, you might as well, they were struck by Iran, and this is the American, the American army did, they were struck by Iran in response to what the American army did here on the 3rd of January, like three weeks ago, four, almost four, uh, Qassam Soleimani's funeral, he was killed by Trump, he was the guy who defeated ISIS in Iraq and Syria, uh, killed by Trump. Um, it was his, uh, not his funeral, but his, um, a memorial for his funeral. And, uh, they were attacked. The memorial was a uh, huge terrorist attack. One of the biggest of, biggest of this, biggest of 2024, at least, for sure. And, uh, killed 100 people, at least. And it was done, likely, by these dudes who were supported by America. So that's why America was struck in Lebanon. I mean, Jordan, not Lebanon. Uh, because they're training, training these dudes in Lebanon, uh, I mean Jordan, and Lebanon, they're training them all over, most, not Syria and Iraq, mostly. Also, this, uh, Jordan, the Jordanian military has come out and said that this attack was not in Jordan, they said that it's in Syria, they said that this Tower 22 base is in Syrian territory, um, but, uh, all of the American headlines still say, uh, in Jordan, so I'm still saying in Jordan, just because that's what you're going to understand, even though that's probably not the truth. Because the people in the area say it happened in Syria. So, if you're... Here, let's read the headline here. In a statement, the president blamed the attack on radical Iran black militant groups operating in Syria and Iraq. We've had a military... We've had an American army presence in Iraq for... In Syria and Iraq for my... Almost my entire lifetime... So if we're not able to uh, beat Iran-backed militant groups, Iran-packed militant groups, these guys have small arms. These guys have the kind of weapons you can buy at a pawn shop, dude. And they're uh, they're beating NATO. Like, come on. Like, what are they doing? What are what is what are what are the Americans doing in Syria and Iraq if they're being beaten by those guys? It doesn't. I don't get it. Eight of the wounded service members had to be evacuated. That means they had to be sent to a 
serious hospitals that get like serious surgery done on them, probably to remove shrapnel from their organs. Uh, critical condition, but stable, means has lost a lot of blood, but isn't bleeding anymore. <laughs> the killed and injured troops were in their sleeping quarters. Oh no, now they feel like the 30,000 people in Palestine. That's three? What's three divided by 30,000? Or the other way around? <laughs> Mr. Biden. I think that's funny, not calling him President Biden, they're calling him Mr. Like, what the hell? He's the goddamn president, you're calling him Mr. Like, I don't, I don't like him as much, I like him as much as anyone else does, like, you know. I don't have to list all his flaws, you know them. But he's the president, you don't call the president Mr. <laughs> like, what the fuck? He called the attack despicable and unholy, un and wholly unjust. Yeah, vowing that, uh, he said that the U.S. will hold those r responsible to the attack accountable, which means he's gonna bomb Yemen more, because he blames Yemen for anything that happens in the Middle East, at least he has over the past two weeks. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, look at this, look at this. This is the same article I was showing you earlier. This is like what? Sentence, paragraph, paragraph, sentence, sentence, paragraph, paragraph, sentence, paragraph. Not very far deep, it says. It's talking about Yemen already. Everything, everything it does, it talks about Yemen. Everything is linked to Yemen. We need to invade Yemen. If it's, uh, what, it, what happened here? Some dudes from Syria? Yeah, okay, so they're mad that the U.S. is supporting ISIS in Syria. The U.S. has been supporting ISIS in Syria for the past 24 months. And the Syrians are mad about this. And that's the people of Yemen's fault. That's Yemen's fault that ISIS is in Syria and mad at us? Or that our troops are in Syria to supposedly fight ISIS. But lately they've been fighting Iranian-backed groups who are also, who are actually there to fight ISIS. If, uh, if you, if you know anything about the war against ISIS in Iraq and Syria, the IR IRGC, the Iranian Revolutionary Guards Corps, were the people who defeated ISIS. And the uh, the American army destroyed the uh, the IRGC, and then claimed responsibility for defeating ISIS. But they didn't. They didn't defeat ISIS. It's just not true. <laughs> 